video on uh, how I set the rheostat on the Traeger PTG Plus, which is the smallest little one with the smallest volume, which has too high of a fan CFM, so I installed the rheostat. Uh, all the way up here would be off, and this is maximum. And I do use that maximum maybe when I shut down, well always when I shut down, but sometimes for high temps up in the 450-500s so I'll be up to there. I'm down here for roasting area in the 3, 325 or 350 range. And down about here for low smoking. Past this the fan will turn off pretty much like that's minimum right there. So I'll do a start up and we'll go from there now I like to start with the lid closed because I can tell when I got smoke and if I got ignition and I don't leave until I know it stabilizes the temperature now you'll notice first thing is my starting temperature is 150. I do that to prevent some overshoot, even though I'll probably run about 180 or so. Uh, that lessens the overshoot on startup. Yeah. You can hear the volume of this. This is high. This is about where I'm doing a start a bit and would run for around 300, 350. And this is about where I run it for low and slow. Set it back for my startup. Now I have a one RPM auger motor versus the normal 1.6, so my settings will be different than what you'd use for a 1.6 or 2 RPM auger motor. But I'll show the settings I have. Going into operational parameters by setting and holding the set button. Okay, so our ignition is going to go off at 1.30 or 4 minutes, whichever hits first. And that's for restart, so 10% of the SV, I'll get an auto restart once it falls below that. Auto tune is in 3, which is standard. 565 on the Intrigo, proportional 230, derivative 142. Again, that's because I'm running a 1 RPM auger motor. I'm running a cycle time T of 17. Offset 12, and outlet low of 10, and that's 10 with a 1 RPM auger motor. I use 100 for two reasons. One, the 1 RPM auger motor, and the other one I manual tune the PID portion. And that's all normal, 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 and I can smell smoke. We have ignition. I forgot that show that one other change where you set the start. And speed is three. And that is where you set your startup startup at. Mine set at 150 default is 180. And we'll pause and let it do a startup.
I'll take a moment here and show where the rheostat is installed. You put it right in there, and on top of that is where I have the field food probe. And it just hooks right in the orange wire. So we're approaching 150 in a very gradual startup. Um, we're probably going to get some overshoot. And what I usually do is I just change it up to about 180 and then just relax. One thing I would recommend is, unless you have the 1 RPM auger motor, I wouldn't uh, use the PISD settings I am using. I would start with the default settings of Savannah Stoker and do an auto tune and maybe if we're able to get stable 250 or 275 and go from there. But if you want to, they're posted. Okay, so I'm going to change this up to 280. And that's more room. Oh, that's too many. Yeah, one, two, one, eight. And we'll just let it sit there. Pause it again. Now this is where I'm going to turn this down because I got a good start. I'm going to turn it down to about here and see what we end up with the stability. Now you can see how gradual the startup is using uh, the fan rheostat for reduced to CFM and also using uh, some a manually tuned PID system. It's just sort of creeping up on 180. That's what I like. No massive overshoot on startup. And you can see where I moved the rheostat all the way down to here from this is max and this is where about I'm at to reduce the CFM of the fan. And he's sort of getting close to 180, that's pretty nice. Oh, there we go. I think we're stable. Then you call that stable at 180. And now this car's here. Maybe I'll stop here. Y'all have a happy barbecuing day and I hope this helps.